Jacques Chirac did love culture. Many see him uh, really as uh, an intellectual, someone who spent a lot of time uh, pursuing his artistic interests, especially with regard to primitive arts. Is that, do you think, going to be one of his key legacies? Yes. Strangely enough, when he was trying to reach power, and I recounted how many times he tried and failed and eventually succeeded, uh, and even as president, at least in the early time, he didn't want to appear as someone who was reading a lot, who was going to museums. He wanted to be the man who drank Mexican beer, ate a uh, calf head, and uh, was uh, so happy to be at the agriculture fair and discussing. And he was that kind of person. And he thought uh, that, uh, you know, culture was supposed to be his secret garden. He's, he came after a president, François Mitterrand, who was clearly a man of culture. He was. And he wanted also to display it. Uh, and uh, so Jacques Chirac took essentially uh, the opposite uh, tack, to maybe to show that he was uh, closer to the people. But uh, eventually, people learned that he was going secretly sometimes to museums uh, to watch for hours uh, not only a French culture. And I think this is really uh, the difference between him and his predecessors. He was very interested in, in Asia, in uh, pre-Columbian art, in African art. And uh, this is why he built this uh, museum. And the, this museum is, is hailed as a, not only a very nice museum, but a museum open to world culture. And this is probably going to be a, a legacy of Jacques Chirac, despite all his attempts to, to show that he was only watching Western movies, listening to military music. So in a way, uh, Chirac was a very secretive man, despite his appearance as an easygoing person. So it was a 